Hi guys, I'm Rebecca and I work for Walking Mountain Science Center. Today I am here with a friend to learn about the wonders of weather. Everyone say hi to Cameron. Hi cats. Hi Rebecca. Thanks for having me today. So in the next few minutes we are going to get to answer a couple questions. And our first question is how does the sunlight affect the Earth's surface? If you think you already know the answer, tell it to the person next to you. That's a great question, Rebecca. Let's go ahead and get started. How does sunlight affect the Earth's surface? Now, this is a big question that has a lot of answers. So we're going to focus on just a few key ideas here. <laughs> if you come outside on a sunny day in the summer, do you usually feel hotter or colder than if you were in the shade? Hotter. When I'm outside and in the sun, it's usually a lot warmer than when I'm in the shade. The same is true for the entire planet. When it's daytime for us, it's nighttime for the other side of the Earth because we're on the side that's facing the sun. Which means when it's nighttime for us, it's daytime on the other side of the Earth. Yes! So the Earth gets hot and cold at different places at different times. And because of that, different types of weather can appear. So the sun, that huge ball of gas burning billions of miles away, actually affects the weather here on Earth? Sure does. In fact, the Earth rotates or spins around the sun. Here, you be the Earth, I'll be the sun. What? You're going to rotate around me. Oh, OK. Yeah, OK. No, wait, I wasn't ready. Oh, OK. <clears throat> OK, let me get into position.